Three-year-old Philly Trotters on the track, matron final, purse $243,076. Number one owned in Ohio by CSX Stable and in Ontario by Robert McIntosh Stables, a steady performer all season long, winner of the Kentucky Philly Futurity and a matron elimination among nine victories this year. Trained by Bob McIntosh, John Campbell drives number one on Bro Affair. Number two owned by Robert Anderson and Dave Wilmot of Ontario, one of the most consistent in this division all season long. A multiple stakes winner of more than 566000 this year. Trained by Jimmy Tactor, Ron Pierce will drive number two, South Wind Allaire. From Freehold, New Jersey, owned by the Valley High Stable, and one of the sharpest performers this fall, highlighted by an impressive victory in the Bluegrass Stakes, Trained by Paul Kelly, Luke Willett drives number three, Sunday Yankee. The four are owned in New York by Nunzio Giannitti and William Schiffer Jr., winner of several Pennsylvania Sire Stakes, including the Pennsylvania Sire Stake Championship, the Pennsylvania All-Stars, and the Hanover Philly Stake. Trained by Jean Jobadon, Dave Pallone drives number four, Tagapine. The five, owned in Sweden by Jorgen Yare Jr., a top stakes contender all season long. She set a world record for a three-year-old Philly Trotter over a 5 8 mile track, winning last week's matron elimination in 154 and two-fifths. Trained by Tron Schmedjammer, Brian Sears drives number five, Stroke Play. The six from Calden East, Ontario, owned by Norm Dunstan, a winner of five races this season, including one of last week's matron eliminations. Trained by Pat Lachance, Mike Lachance will drive number six, Lexus Hall. The seven, owned in Key Largo, Florida, by Adelaide Scoglin, a late developing filly who appears to be reaching her peak now. She has been in the money in seven of her 14 outings this season and a winner of more than 101,000 lifetime, trained by her driver, Jan, correction, trained by Jan Janssen, driver change to Ross Wolfenden, number seven, Don't Dawdle. And completing the field from Canada, owned by John Fielding of Ontario and Irving Liverman of Quebec, one of the most consistent fillies during her two racing seasons, a major stakes winner highlighted by victories in the World Trotting Derby Philly Championship, trained by Jimmy Tactor. Dave Miller drives number eight, Philly at Biggs. That's the field for the $243,000 three-year-old Philly Trot matron final. Three-year-old Philly Trotters behind the gate, matron final, purse 243000 They're off from the outside. Lexus Hall tries to leave toward the inside. That's Armbro Affair. Southwind Alaire gets away in third up the inside. Sunday Yankee into fourth. Then it's Tagapine trotting fifth on the outside stroke play. Then it's Don't Dawdle far back and out of it. Making a break, Philly at Biggs as they move on the turn. Ombro Fair gets that lead now. South Window Air, Lexus Hall is caught outside. Moving through is Sunday Yankee. Quarter time was 28 seconds as they trot by the stands, and it's Ombro Fair leading it by a length and a half. In second is South Window Air, followed by Sunday Yankee. Tagapine is there in fourth. Next is Stroke Play. Caught outside Lexus Hall, then it's Don't Dawdle as they go into that clubhouse turn. The pace is moderate as they move over toward the half. Armbo Affair leads South Windle Air. Sitting there in third is Sunday Yankee, followed by Tagapine. Out the whole way is Lexus Hall. Stroke play moves out behind Lexus Hall. We'll have to go three wide somewhere along the way. The half, a leisurely one minute, two fifths, and they move to the back stretch with Armbo Affair on top. Lexus Hall 
is on the outside. South Winolera is next row play fourth. Back to fifth is Sunday Yankee. Then it's Tagapine. Out of it are Don't Dawdle and Philly at Biggs. They go toward the end of the back stretch. Here comes Stroke Play. Stroke Play three wide now up after Armbro Affair. Lexus All will back off toward the inside. South Winolera. Three quarters and 129 and two. Trotting on the final turn. Stroke Play battles Armbro Affair. Down along the inside. That's South Winolera. They come toward the top of the stretch now. And Stroke Play on the outside a short lead. Armbro Fair battling toward the inside as they come off the turn as a team. Down inside Armbro Fair, stroke play out in the center of the track. Stroke play from the outside is up to win it. Stroke play Armbro Fair and South Winolair. 157 and 2. Entering the winner's circle, five stroke play, a three-year-old Bay Philly by Yankee Glide, owned by Jorgen Yari Jr., trained by Tron Schmetschammer, driven a victory by Brian Sears, 157 and two fifths. In the winner's circle, manager of harness racing, John Hensley, along with publicity director Marv Bachrat, making a blanket presentation. Rob with Brian Sears. Thank you again, Jack Gallagher. And Brian Sears is uh, no uh, unfamiliar face here in the winner's circle. He's been uh, very active during the matrons, and it's awful nice to win with a nice filly like this. Yeah, she's uh, really coming into her own. Um, Tron said she got good late last year, and uh, it's happening again. She's really sharp right now. Now, this was an excellent field. In fact, I, I would put this field up with any of the uh, three-year-old trotting fillies uh, this year. Uh, how do you play it uh, when, you, when you're at the, the starting gate? You know, I just wanted to make sure. It looked like they're going to mix it up enough. I didn't want to just totally retreat right off the, the, the bat, so I just kind of had her up in there and just took a look and looked like they're going to go a little bit. I see Mike leaving on there, so I took back, and I was fortunate to get out going, to the, going into the second turn. Um, but uh, things worked out. Now, insofar as uh, uh, this filly's concerned, she's been going uh, for quite a spell during this season and really seems to be at the top of her game right now. Uh, this late in the year, that's nice to know. Yeah, um, you know, she's got the Breeders' Crown coming up. That'll be the next stop, but um, hopefully she stays as sharp as she is right now. And one uh, personal question. Uh, last year you had such a successful year going from the Meadows to uh, Pompano Park and then to the Meadowlands. Where are you going to be this winter? Uh, to the Meadowlands. Okay, thank you, Brian. Congratulations to Stroke Play, winner of the $243,000 final, the matron three-year-old Philly Trump.